I'm about to purge my closet. I have to look and see, look in the mirror to make sure I'm in the frame. Anyway, I don't even want to show you what my closet looks like, but it is time. You know, I always say live simply and I'm on a constant journey to, to doing that myself. I think the simpler, the better. You just, everything shines through when it's just less going on. I'm a person, I love to collect. You know, as a girl, a woman, I love to collect shoes, handbags, scarves, jackets, coats, wraps, you know, clothing, skirts, you know, everything. So, I don't need all this stuff. I really don't. And usually when I go to purge my closet, it gets a little overwhelming. And I refuse to purchase anything else Number one, until I get rid of stuff and give it to someone else who actually needs it. Number one. Number two, until I purge this doggone closet, I don't deserve to get anything extra. So, here we go. I'm scared. As you can see, got my trash bags. <laughs> 30 gallons. Let's do it. The menagerie of scarves. <sighs> Infinity scarves. Handmade stuff. I mean, and this is not all of them. <laughs> Thrift scarves. I like that. I'm keeping that one. This is not all of them. Oh, wraps. I love this wrap. Another scarf here. Yeah, I like this too, so I'm going to keep that because that's, you know, dress up stuff. So, just belts. Oh, forgot about belt. Oh, ties, neckties. How could I forget about those? <sighs> I've been saving this plastic thing for years. It was on a box or some kind of container or something and I said huh it looks like I could reuse this for something and I'll be doggone finally I'm trying my hand at this vegetable soup that one of my girlfriends a recipe that one of my girlfriends gave me and it really isn't a recipe because you use what you have in the um, fridge and you pretty much dump everything together but um first you saute your vegetables like I have green beans snow peas um what else mushrooms corn onions and some roasted garlic in here so i'm sauteing this for a few minutes until everything gets nice and soft the way i want it then you dump in a can of diced tomatoes um and vegetable stock if you have it i had chicken stock so i use that uh, no measuring just everything to taste this is how i'm imagining it it was hers was so good Anyway, and then you, um, you know, put your marinara sauce. Now, this here is actually pasta sauce. I'm guessing what, what's the difference. So, I'm going to use pasta sauce minus garlic and onion. So, it's going to be full of flavor. And then you want to put some red hot. Put that in to taste. And then a cup of quinoa. Thank you, Jesus. I had some made. And you're good to go. Oh, I neglected to tell you that I'm also going to toss in some light red um, kidney beans. You don't have to put beans. Like I said, you can put whatever you want. But I'm thinking that because this is such a healthy option, you can put so much flavor into it. And um, you can eat it up and not really feel guilty afterwards. So I'm trying to put all the funk and joy into it that I can within reason. And my soup is done. It is so chunky and filling and all veggies. Mmm.